undermining devolution is one way of killing devolution. At independence, we are a multi-party state. Devolution, Majimbo was killed at independence. And it can be killed again, just like multi-party. So as I invite a uh, keynote speaker, I want to invite you, leaders of political parties, our partners, to come out and work together towards defending multi-party democracy, towards defending revolution in our country, because it is under threat. And it is now my pleasure and privilege to invite our keynote speaker, His Excellency, Dr. Steven Kalonzo Musio. Thank you, Sana. Please be seated. <coughs> and ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon. Um, I recognize Priscilla Nakabi, who has been the chair of uh, the Center for Multiparty Democracy, and all our partners, some of whom may be in the audience. I'm going to make these remarks and, and I believe my brother Eugene has done it so well that I would qualify his as a keynote address in about three minutes. But this is for the record because what you're doing here is so important. We've just been talking to the young Kenyans, the future of our country, the under 18, who in 2027 will actually be voters. And they represent so many of them. A whole nation awaits out there for us to avoid making any mistakes with regard to our constitutional reality that Kenya shall be and is a multi-party democracy. Let me therefore begin by expressing my sincere gratitude for the CMD's 20 plus years of hard effort to consolidate Kenyan democracy. You have collaborated closely with political parties, with actors, strategic partners, and important stakeholders to promote social justice, political governance, best practices, human rights, and basic freedoms. Furthermore, as CMD, you've given a forum for political parties, for all players, for Kenyans, policy makers, and in order to be able to participate uh, in debate and collaborate on developing multi-party democracy. CMD Kenya has been an invaluable resource assisting in the development of democratic standards and providing knowledge for strengthening democratic governance institutions. The WIPA democratic movement that I have the privilege of leading has been a major beneficiary of your time and resources. So accepting the offer to speak at this event, the People's Dialogue Festival 2024, was at least the least I could do. <coughs> However, when I saw the allocated topic, I nearly changed my mind. Uh, the topic for discussion today is picked by, has, has actually uh, engage my interest, governance reforms, stroke economic social development from an alternative opposition's perspective, especially in consideration of the main theme of the People's Dialogue Festival 2024, competition and collaboration in democratic development. Very well elaborated. Ladies and gentlemen, it is fair to say we live in very uncertain times. Many individuals, including journalists, political scientists, and indeed politicians, feel that our current political issues are inescapable and must be confronted head on. That ideological in incoherence may be due to party weaknesses and all an increasingly disillusioned Kenyan public makes governance, governance reforms Indeed, actual socioeconomic progress very difficult. <coughs> they are not wrong, <coughs> at least for the most part, since the question of what constitutes good government persists. 
In 1996, for example, the International Monetary Fund, IMF, stated that, I quote, promoting good governance in all its aspects, including by ensuring the primacy of the rule of law, improving the efficiency and accountability of the public sector, and tackling corruption are essential elements of a framework within which economies can prosper, end of quote. In my opinion, or from the viewpoint of uh, the Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Coalition, represented here at this function by both Wiper and DA, uh, in our view, uh, the political commitment by Kenya Kwanzaa, its administrative ability, and state society interactions are really the main issue. We believe that they have not been up to the challenge, and that it was it was this state of inertia, or better yet, a court mpende, mspende, mpende, mspende, mutadu, that kind of attitude, mutadu, that led to the nationwide mandamano protests over the cost of living. As meal, we kept asking the following questions. What would it take to change the socio-economic and political outcomes we were witnessing? Remember, another quote-unquote stolen election? And what changes would be required to strengthen the political system's alignment with the public interest and move forward our country socio-economically? In addition, based on my experience, as our country's 10th Vice President, I think somebody did introduce me as such, and uh, was actually appointed Minister for Foreign Affairs twice, among many other ministerial portfolios, just reminded the young ones uh, that once I was Minister for Education, and my contribution to Kenyan society community was that I outlawed corporal punishment. <laughs> as Minister for Education. And I believe I've made some effort uh, as lead mediator in several of our neighboring states in order to achieve at least stability, measure stability. I'm so proud to see that Somalia just the other day de deposited instruments, instruments that makes Somalia now the eighth member of the East African community. What an achievement. I believe that for meaningful change to take place. The other side, quote unquote, needs to acknowledge the existence of a significant issue of national importance, or indeed an issue that constitutes threat to national stability and co coherence. That governance reforms are both beneficial and the most practical way to stem the tide of revolt. It's only that Kenya is now did not have the wherewithal Kenya was ready to be a Sri Lanka. It can still be a Sri Lanka if people don't listen with elephant ears. On August 30th, 2023, Kenyans witnessed a collaboration for democratic development. This was when a framework to steer bipartisan negotiations, the National Dialogue Committee, we, we refer to it as NADICO, of which I was co-chair, was signed in the Bombers of Kenya and Nairobi, uh, or did we sign at uh, Hilton, Hilton uh, Place near the, the airport, following the committee's approval by both chambers of bicameral by parliament, therefore anchoring it into law. 